Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to Tale and Tactics, where we are entering into the second phase of the run. We've now got uh, uncommon units unlocked, and we are pushing forwards. So, uh, when a unit cast a Dust Devil sweeps through a column once every five seconds, or all trait bonuses are disabled. Um, let's let's go with this. I think the this Dust Devil. Seems like a better choice. We need to use some of these potions. Let's silence you. Let's move everyone over here. Then let's potion you to here. We have to remember Blobbert's not going to pull anyone forwards anymore. Um, but I think this is going to be the best way we start this fight. I'm not entirely sure if that's accurate, but so far it looks to be going okay-ish. We are leading on health only just... and now we're losing. Now we're losing. Oh god. Oh, that was only because he put down the, um, the taunts, I think. I think otherwise, yeah, we did it. Lovely. We're not dying just yet, which is lovely to see. Um, what is this? Encounter two of the Grand Hornet Champions. Oh, I see. Okay. So, nature should be preserved or tech is the future. Let's say nature should be preserved, uh, which displeases this guy, but normally say tech, but I, let's just say nature to see what we're doing here. So, your team, uh, if your team has three or more units of the caster archetypes, your units gain attack speed. I don't think that's true. Currently, replace the wearer's skill with mana battery, which grants its mana to teammates. Yeah. Or, we could get, uh, this guy will remember and be happy with us, and we could get the this book guy. Let's get the book guy, because even if we don't want him, we can do is we could sell him for nine uh, and i think that's what we're going to do and we're going to invest we're heavy in the stock market this game heavy in the stock market so we actually don't have any uncommons but we do have a common but we don't need to duplicate anyone yet um i'm not seeing any reason to duplicate either let's give this guy a little bit more health Let's roll one more time. Nothing. I don't like rolling too much. I don't want to spend all our money. Um, so we're going into the boss battle now. If we line the bear up with the boss, he will stun him, right? With a, the, the pit fork thing that he's got. So let's see if this works. Um, let's maybe drop this on enemy unit to remove its armor and lose two max health each second. Let's do that. Burn his armor away. And he's been disarmed. Yes. This feels promising. We could still lose right here. Right now. Oh god, that felt really bad. They're just attacking the, the skeleton things for a second. Okay, we're attacking the boss now. This might be better. He's stunned? I think we're doing this. I think we're fine. Yeah, we breezed through that. Nice and easy. Perfect. And what we'll do, we'll just invest 13 straight away to our vault. We can now relax at the campsite. And what this will do for us... Ooh, stonks. We retreat... Oh, I've never done level 5 on the vault, apparently. Um... Now we can add another person into our army, which is good. So we're going to add this guy in for now, which helps with our royal. It doesn't give us a full bonus, does it? So we could buy a rhyme just to help um, make sure that we are in the uh, ability to level him up. There we go, that's what I'm trying to say. And he's now leveled up anyway. We could get another Gibbs. 
I'm spending a little bit more rashly now because I can't invest in anything. So this is kind of all I can do. Uh, oh, we don't have enough points. Oh, Stumpy is uncommon, though. So we can actually level him already, which is good. And we can level Yibs again by doing that. And then the only person who hasn't been leveled is Coda. Is Coda an uncommon? Oh, he is! Cool! So we can now level Coda to level 2, and now we've just big boosted our team, which feels good. So now we can fight this guy for pit tokens, uh, create a shield like barrier on both sides. The pits are movable, or when the unit casts saw blades, well, we're not doing saw blades, are we? Christ. We'll take pit tokens wherever they're going this to be placed. Okay, okay, this isn't too bad. We can work with this. We just need to balance ourselves a little bit. Something like that, maybe? Then we'll move you to over here. And we'll move you over here, and we'll see how this goes. Let's do this music. Oh my god, I don't know if we're losing or winning. Things just happened. What's happening? Uh, I'm just going to look at this bar up here. It's lagging. We are winning by health quite a bit. Um, oh yeah, our tree guy turns into this big old boy. He becomes like a huge tree. There you go, we did it with only one death. I think that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Okie dokie. Oh, and we've leveled up, have we? Dragon Egg. So gain a Dragon Egg, which hatches three in three combats and contains many bonuses for dragons. Gain a Brim. Dragon Egg. Brim. Uh, this counts as having another Scrapper. Or gain a Tier 2 Monty and Fritz. Monty and Fritz. I think we're going to take the Dragon Egg. Sounds quite cool. Do we have to have it on the field? No, it can't be placed. Okay. Um, we do have another dragon. Um, we don't have space for him in our army right now. So let's buy another Stumpy anyway. Um, and these are all for rare, and we haven't actually unlocked rare characters yet. Um, so that's fine. Uh, we could then buy another Coda and another Shelly. We'll leave this dragon guy until we find out what the egg does. Because I think he's a rare, so we could level him up quite quickly. Um, again, don't like bounties, so let's travel along the side road. And we get to take one, so let's just take a, take a star. No, let's not be greedy. I'm not a greedy boy. I'll give the staff straight away to you, Rhyme. Who is immediately my favourite for some reason. Uh, all units start with full mana. I think that's probably the best thing we can do. This guy's a frontline unit, right? Righty ho. So let's let's do something like this. Put him there. The bear here. Put Shelly here. Put him here. Him here, him here, because the bear will stun these guys. Uh, what are these? Berserk potions? Go on, let's give, let's give Stumpy a berserk potion. Let him go nuts. There we go, we've disarmed those two straight away. Oh, they've got a turret, because they've got engineers. The turret's quite deadly. It is just shooting away at us. But we are still winning. We did start with 2,000 more health than them, to be fair. But we're still still smashing it. It's fine. Ah, oh, easy. Look at this. Absolute clearing house. Perfect. Absolutely beautiful. And we're now going to travel to either the assembly line or a fortune teller. Craft equipment. Let's go to the assembly line. Let's see see what they've got for us over there. Assembly line. Show me the goods. Ooh, okay. Uh, so we do actually have a sword thing, don't we? A sword master, yes. Immune to crowd control. 
which we're not using them. Let's take a meat, I think, for one of our other tanks. I think it would be quite nice. Ooh. Uh, add another special effect to a component to make... Yeah, let's take this. Give them three gold. Well, we see, so with mana drain, so every three seconds the wearer emits a pulse that deals 50 spell damage and drains 10 mana from affected enemies. Ooh. Uh, on cast, whenever the cart wearer casts their spell, or uh, after 20 seconds of combat, gains attack damage. Take time. Ooh. This is 10 armor as well, isn't it? This is just a big boost in health. 20% armor, 10... 20% health, 10 armor. Yeah, let's... Let's do that. I like... Now we've got a really cool piece of armor. The Titan's Vest. Which I'm gonna give to Stumpy. Um, that feels like a good move. And then let's give... The claws to... Let's give them to our Turtle Boy. And... Now, we're either going to all equip items removed. No, let's fight this guy. I don't like it when my this stuff gets removed. Unit, right? Um, righty ho. Let's try and work this out. So you can go back here, and that's fine. You, we can actually do a little bit of a funny thing, and we can move you straight into burning. You need to be moved, so that's fine. Let's move you over here with bear, bear v bear, and let's move you here for a second, and let's give you berserk, reroll, see if we can get anything good here, uh, reroll again, another shelly, reroll one more time, maybe give us another shelly, it's like a little gambling mechanic. Oh, there was a Gibbs. I didn't see. Oh, more time. It's a Stumpy. Well, we don't really need a Stumpy, do we? Well, we do, but not now. Um, so let's let's go into this fight and hope. Oh, dear God, we win. Shelly's already gone into the fire. Great. Good job. Good job, man. He was supposed to stay out of the fire. That's fine. He's just burning to death. No problem. It's always good. <laughs> oh my god. This is not good. We are... Actually, we're doing alright, to be fair. It's just that he just burned himself to death for no reason. We've got like four people on this one guy. I think we're winning somehow. Yeah, just a little. Just a little win. Well Lovely. So we could still do with another tank. Or another royal. Uh, again, don't like bounties. Let's take the side road. Ooh. Let's get nine more of those boys. And next. Ooh, and I think now we're going to unlock rare units, actually, which is great. Yeah, now we've got these two are common, these two are rare. Which is really good. Oh, it did get rid of the Stumpy, though. It was a little annoying, because I was going to buy that in the end. Um, no problem. I'll just cry a little. Because if we can find a good rare, that would be even better. Or if we can find a banner for Royal or Tank. Elemental. Bay. Brawler. We don't have many spins on this. Scrapper. Dragon. We could do Dragon. I think we're gonna we're gonna buy it because dragon still helps us quite a bit. Um, let's give this banner to Shelley, who could, could be considered a dragon. I think you could you could work that in somehow. Um, he is royal. That would complete our royal set. Crashes a crown into foes, reducing their. And he's a tank. Trying to work out whether he's worth replacing someone for. Oh, it gives us also a reptile bonus. Hmm, okay. 
So in that case, we remove a beast, maybe. Not him. Hmm. If we removed him... He, oh, he's wearing the tank banner. So that actually wouldn't change anything for us. So let's sell Gibbs. It's a bit of a risky move. But we get back the banner anyway. And we get the item he had. Let's give you this item. We can then also... Straight away, if I just put these here quickly. Uh, rare duplicate you. Rare duplicate you. Which will tear you up straight away. Um, and now that gives us the royal buff at the start of combat. The crown bearer issues a royal decree, tearing down the nearest and furthest foe. So that's pretty good. Um, we still have the tank banner, which we can put on someone, but we don't need to right now. Um, yeah, I think that actually worked out quite well for us. We re-roll maybe a little bit, see if we can find something. We're still holding on to the egg, obviously. I think there's one more round of the egg being useful. Uh, I'm tempted to buy you and hope to dear god we can find something useful in the next like roll. Okay, there we go. So there's another stumpy. So we put that on the board. That'll tear him up. You know, pull these back a little bit. Um, and that's all our money spent and all of our stars spent. And I think that's where we'll call this episode. And in the next one, we'll continue on our journey. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.